K. We're at Infocom 2024. I'm here with Peyton Thomas of Panasonic Connect and uh, product manager for one of my favorite products in the commercial AV market. You guys have heard me talk about this thing for three years. Uh, the Keros, uh, thank you for doing this. I've always wanted to do a deep dive on this product. Yeah. Where I started, where I got introduced to this product is, um, it was used as the hub of an eSports arena okay. uh, for the production side of that. But there's so many other applications for Keros. Yeah, yeah. So actually kind of what we're showing in the booth today is uh, actually what's currently up on, on the wall right now. It's kind of a house of worship application. So we're kind of showing the ability to do multi-screen application as well as cutting like an IMAX show and using kind of like this unique 9 by 16 uh, aspect ratio. So because it's it's a GPU based system, we're able to mix and match these uh, unique formats, resolutions, all from one system. And that's what's different about this. It's not a production switcher. It's that's more right. than a rigid. It starts as a production switcher, but it's really a processor. It's really that's a, right. I, okay, let's, we're gonna deep, we're gonna go to a deep guys. We have to force ourselves in there. <laughs> so we're gonna do that. So uh, I'm gonna squeeze myself in here. We're doing a video for, we, for your, with your uh, guy, uh, Peyton back here on your uh, K, uh, the K row system. So this is, this is what? What are we looking at here on the, on the top here? Yeah, so this right it, currently in front of you is one of the control surfaces uh, for Keros. So we're, we're currently, uh, this is just looking back to the current uh, core. Over here on the right is kind of our, our uh, creator GUI that interfaces back to the core. So, it's, so, so this is confidence? Yeah. To production. That's correct. Okay. Yep. So this is kind of the production that's happening, and then also uh, multi views to be able to uh, see the system. Four multi views, uh, full, four full production multi views in the system. And then how do how do we decide? Like a lot of the functionality here is also up here. I'm assuming is this is this touch? Could this be touch screen for yes, example? Yes, it can you be. That way? Yeah. So we it can be touch screen. Uh, we actually have a touch control, uh, separate control that you can use a multi view to actually cut your show. So you can actually touch buttons, push them uh, from preview to program, all from a multi-view. And how do you decide which controller to use for, for this? Does it depend on the application? It, and how, how many different flavors of those are yeah, there? Yeah, it really depends on the application, depends on the on the user. Uh, this is our, our biggest uh, control panel. We have a compact panel as well. So imagine this just cut off and, and eight buttons on the side. So it's, it's more of a compact panel. Uh, we also have uh, you can also just use this creator software, even all the way down to a stream deck, you can interface uh, I was gonna Keros. say, so so you could be front of house with just, what about even a iPad or something like yeah. that? Is that possible? Yeah. Because yeah, if you're doing stream deck, that's yeah, just you sending. Can, you can use a stream deck. Uh, we, we, we use a Windows Surface with our touch control software. Uh, so that's uh, a Windows application, but our creator our creator uh, software can be on a Mac or Windows uh, PC. Okay, and so the, the actual k itself is in a rack somewhere? Yeah, the actual... Oh, the actual can we walk around there? Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, yeah. So I want to show you the actual k box itself. It's actually mounted in a rack. What is it, 3U yeah. high? This is a 4U. Yeah, 4U. 4U yeah. high. So this come, is around, a come around here, Dalton. You 4, come around 4U, here. Uh, 4 RU rack. Um, we can do uh, a couple of different flavors. Uh, we can do 2110, SDI, NDI, SRT, RTMP, any kind of format you want to do. So if you shoot the back panel yeah. of it, it's coming here. You can actually see we have uh, three SDI boards. We actually uh, released a new model at NAB that uh, is comes uh, shipping with three SDI models instead of a 2110 card. So it's a more affordable entry point. You don't lose any of the uh, system's uh, features or anything like that. It just doesn't have the 100 gig SMPTE 2110 NIC. Yeah, so, so people that want to do just baseband and they want it later implement into the future 2110, uh, they could definitely do that. Yeah, so they could do it more traditional. Exactly, exactly. What about IPMX? I know that's a question people are going to yeah, ask. We, we've shown IPMX before. Uh, we will be supporting IPMX uh, very soon. Okay. In, in, the, in the near future. And, and if I'm a, not a Panasonic Connect uh, integrator, can I get this from my distributor, my Panasonic distributor? Yes. Can I get it? Can yeah. I become it? Can I become an integrator just for Keros without all the other Panasonic Connect products? Yes. So yes, you can still purchase Keros. The best part about it is we'll we'll uh, show up, make sure that you're commissioned, you're trained. You don't have so to Panasonic worry about Panasonic Connect will do that. Yes, absolutely. So we you don't worry about you know uh, new system like just being thrown to the wolves. We'll we'll show up. We'll make sure that you'll you'll have the proper training that you need. And obviously, it's modular. How yes. big can it go? 
Yeah, so actually this new generation stays in a 4RU, but as uh, our KC2000 S1, it would be our largest uh, uh, model with the most GPU processing on it. It has 200 gig NICs, so you could get a pretty beefy uh, 7021 system. It ultimately depends on the bandwidth of the signals coming in that determines correct. how much yeah. processing you can do. And that's perfect for the eSports application yeah, exactly. because, you know, mixing match com computer signals, you know, cameras of the feeds, yeah. you can actually really kind of go beyond what the scope is because of that. It's not taking the full bandwidth of that signal. So what about the content I'm generating? Um, well, let's back up. Let's first talk about, can I set up macros and automations and all that kind of stuff and then also take control on the fly if I'm in a live production where there's a problem? Yeah, absolutely. Macros, snapshots, you can kind of dynamically pre-program your show, but if you need to quickly change it, jump to the interface, do it from the panel, kind of wherever wherever you need to to be able to make that, that change. And then can I record? How do I go out and record from KROS? Yeah, so uh, be, actually all of our auxes are full-fledged auxes, so uh, you kind of define you know, your preview program. Uh, so all of them could have a preview program, so you can send all of those out. Uh, we can record internally for like uh, some quick clips, uh, yeah, grab for, stills, for whatever you need. Yeah, like yeah, that. absolutely. Okay, and uh, all this is on your website at PanasonicConnect.com? Yes. yes, that's correct. Okay, excellent. Kairos, K A I R O S. That's correct. K I R O S. You need to check it out, especially if you're in esports, your in house production, your uh, university wide production, sports production, yep. um, your journalism school, yep. um, you're a uh, um, house, of worship. house of worship. Yeah, that's another big, yeah. actually, big segment of the market. Live events, corporate yeah. live events, yeah, corporate. live events. Rental and staging. Rental yeah. staging, yeah. yeah. I mean, every rental staging company should have one of these in yeah. stock, I yeah, feel like. for sure. And uh, I, feel, I feel like it's one of the most underrated products. And it's a good bridge product between production and Pro AV. I kind of look at this as the Pro AV industry's production switcher. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. It, it's, it, it's really an all-in-one box, being able to switch your iMac show, also being able to manage your screens. But it doesn't have to be a single person doing that. You yeah. can just do it from that one box. Yeah. Excellent. All right. Learn more. Go to PanasonicConnect.com. We're gonna end. Up, we're gonna end up shooting individual videos here at Panasonic Connect as well. But this was a deep dive of the KRO system. Peyton, I really appreciate you Thank doing you so this. Thank you so much. And uh, all of our Infocom cards at RainPubs.com/infocom. Thanks for joining us. Thank you.